In this video, we're going to control bright spring photographs using On1 Photo Raw 2020. So inside Photo Raw, you can see I have a pretty overexposed image here. Well, my first tip for controlling bright spring photos is to use your tone and color pane. Inside your tone and color, we have all of these different sliders we can use to really pull back these bright areas on our image. So the first slider I use whenever I'm toning down a bright photograph is this highlight slider. If I pull back on my highlight slider all the way, you can see it removes a lot of that brightness up there and I can see a lot more cloud detail now. Now that we've removed all of the highlights, we still have a pretty bright photograph here. So I'm gonna head over and I'm gonna grab my exposure slider and I'm gonna pull back on that just a little bit, just like that. That's going to darken the entire image so now we need to pull up on our midtones and our shadows specifically so that we can see all of these tones in our foreground. So let's head over to our midtones. I'll pull up on my midtones and then I'll pull up on my shadow tones a little bit. And now if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, you can see we have a lot more even of an exposure, but it's still pretty soft and there's not a whole lot of contrast. So now we need to head over and we need to pull up on this contrast slider. Just like that. So now if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, it's a lot better of an exposed image and we've toned down all of those bright highlights in our scene. My next tip for controlling bright spring photos is to use a local adjustment layer. Local adjustments will allow us to modify this top area specifically while protecting our bottom foreground. So we can see we have a whole lot of blown out area in our sky, but our foreground is actually pretty well exposed. So let's apply a local adjustment strictly to the top. I'm gonna to head over, I'll add a local adjustment by just clicking on local. Now, whenever you add a new local adjustment layer, it's automatically set to the darken preset here. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is, and then I'm gonna hold down shift and hit K on my keyboard. That's going to grab me my adjustable gradient tool here. With my adjustable gradient, I can use gradients and shapes to mask this adjustment on. So I'm going to head into my presets here, and in masking, white reveals and black conceals. So I can see that this linear bottom preset applies the adjustment to the top of my shot. So I'll just click on that. Then I'll head down and drop this on a horizon line here. And now if I move this around, you can see it's only applying that adjustment to the top of my photo. So I can set this right here. I'll feather it just a little bit. And now I can head over to this adjustment and watch as I pull back on the exposure. You can see I can darken all of that bright area on the top of my scene just with this local adjustment layer. So I'm just gonna go up and I'll take it back to the darken preset. And if I turn this off and on now, helps immensely to just tone down that top area of the photograph. And I can always readjust any of these settings in here. So if I want to add in a little bit of color, I could boost the saturation. I could also go up and I could pull back on the highlights a little bit, and that will remove even more of those highlights up there in the shot. And one thing you can do with this local adjustment layer is you can protect certain tones from it. So if I zoom in here to this mountain, for say, and I go to my local adjustment, I'm gonna go into the gear icon here and that's going to open up the blending options for that adjustment or filter. Now I'm gonna use these three sliders down here to protect certain tones on my shot. Well, for this photo, I'm gonna protect these shadow tones on this mountain here. So I'll just head over and I'll pull up on my shadow tones. And you can see that now I have a lot brighter of shadow tones over here because I'm protecting them from this adjustment with this slider here. My next tip for controlling bright spring photographs is to use the tone curve. So with this photograph, we can see it's a little bit overexposed and we have some bright highlighted areas around it. So to fix that, we're gonna go into our effects tab, we're gonna add a filter, and we're gonna add the curves filter. And with this tone curve, we can modify specific tonalities in our shot simply by using this curve. So to use the tone curve, our bottom left point here, this bottom left point is our black point. As we move up in the tone curve, as we move up on this line, our tones get brighter. So we have our blacks down here, and as we go up, we have our shadow tones, 
our midtones, our highlights, and then finally our whites. So for this shot, I can see there's a whole lot of blown out highlights, midtones, and then my shadows are still pretty strong as well. So I'm actually going to set the foundational look for my shadow tones first. I'm going to head over to my curves filter. I'm going to drop a point kind of in my shadow tones in between my blacks and my midtones. And then I'm just going to pull this down a little bit. And you can see that it's dimming down the image quite a bit. It's bringing on some nice contrast. It's removing some of those blown out areas up top. And that's because when I pull back on the shadows right here, it still pulls down on these midtones and some of the highlights. So if I want to incorporate more of those back into the shot, I could just pull up on those tones and then I can incorporate them back into the photograph. I'm just going to keep them nice and low, maybe right below that line right there. Perfect. So now if I turn this tone curve off and on, just by using these two points, look what we've done. We've really helped out all of these bright areas in the scene. And one thing we can do with filters, just like local adjustments, is we can apply them selectively. So I'm going to add another filter. I'm going to add the curves filter again. And then I'm just going to drag this middle tone kind of highlight area and I click on it. I'm just going to drag it down a little bit. Right there. Now I only want to apply this adjustment to this top area by this lake. So I'm going to hit M on my keyboard. That'll grab me my masking bug, which is the exact same thing as your adjustable gradient. So now I'll head up to my preset. I know I want linear bottom so that it's applied to the top part. Then I'll just drop this down. I'll rotate it a little bit with this smaller handle. Move it a little bit with the bigger one. And then I'll just feather it quite a bit. Now if I turn this curves filter off and on, it does an awesome job of toning down that really blown out area up top of my shot. So now if we hit the backslash key on our keyboard, It's a much more cohesive photograph and we've really controlled all of those bright colors and bright highlights within the scene. That's how to control your bright spring photos using On One Photo Raw 2020. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and stay updated whenever we drop new content and new videos. Stay safe out there everybody and have an awesome weekend.